Hello, I'm Peter Baird and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about positive framing. Now positive framing is a great technique and requires no more than describing what you want somebody to do or what you want them to buy or what you want them to agree to in terms of its positive outcomes. It's as simple as that and it really works. There have been lots of tests. There was a great test involving a disease that was always going to be fatal unless somebody took a cure and they devised this cure of which around about 66% of people taking this cure would die and 33% would live. Guaranteed. Wonderful. So guess the outcome. When they explain to people you try this and 33% of you are going to live, then they thought it's marvellous. In fact, 70% of people who had it described to them in this manner thought it was a brilliant cure. Whereas, when they went around and they said to people, look, if you try this cure, then I'm afraid around about two thirds of you, 66% of you are going to die. And actually, guess what? Yeah, no surprise. The people thought it was pretty awful. In fact, only 20% of people who had the cure described to them in this manner thought that it was any good and then want to do it. But you don't have to have a cure for a disease. You go into a supermarket and what do they do? They say, right, buy one, get one free. You might only go in for a piece of cheese. But suddenly you see on the cheese counter this great big yeah, buy one, get one free campaign. And what do you do? You buy one, you get one free, absolutely marvellous. Whereas if the sign said, pay for two and you can have them at half price, well, no, it doesn't work. Because you only came in to buy one, why should you pay for two? So rather than emphasise the pain of paying, even though it's the same result, you emphasise the actual gain of getting something free and it really works. That's why supermarkets do it. That is positive framing. It's the same with buying a lottery ticket. Why on earth should we buy a lottery ticket? What are the odds of winning the jackpot? One in 49 million? Probably even worse than that. Yet every day, well not, well almost every day, we go down to the local shop and we buy a ticket, two quid, whatever it is, and we know that our chance of winning is probably one in 50 million. Yet we still buy it because the advertising slogan says it might be you. And because they say it might be you, those are pretty good odds. And yes, therefore, I'm going to buy a ticket. So that is positive framing. Don't confuse it with negative framing. Slightly different effects. Uh, they can be used in conjunction together. And I'll talk a little bit about negative framing in another video and describe how you can combine the two negative framing with positive framing to get an even more powerful effect. Anyway, thank you very much. That's enough from me. Bye.